Adam here. And as you can probably see, I am at a new place. I got some new decorations in the back and a new apartment. I also got a new camera as well. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. And speaking about new, we're going to dive into some of the newer material by Rivers and Knee Hill. Um, I'm gonna check out their song, The Void From Which No Sound Escapes. Now, I will be clear, uh, I have already listened through this whole album through a couple different times. So I'm already pretty well aware of what the production values and stuff like that are. So this isn't like a normal reaction where I'm listening to it for the first time. But it also means I can be a little bit more dissective, if you will, with the reaction. So let's just dive in on it. I love the piano. So as you can hear, that's just not the piano sound as well. There's other instruments playing along with it too. That's what gives it this interesting, like chorusy uh, kind of vibe to it. Love this build up. Very cool. So, so, so the synth sound is matching the uh, the drums rhythmically. It's really cool. Sounds like volume swells with long reverb and delay in the left ear, right ear. Very cool. I love the video. The low synth in this is really cool. The, the bass tapping is really cool here. Everything so far is like great for, for dynamics and, and like building up the song. Really creative songwriting so far. There we go, now the whole song comes in. So what they did was, they made this part uh, like louder sounding to make it more impactful. If you notice, the first part of the song was uh, uh, quieter, and now it's louder and more full. So it gave it more impact. A great guitar tone. The vocals are really well recorded too. Something, something I really like about their sound, no instrument is more or less important than anything else. Like everything has its own like perfect place in the mix. Their synth work is so cool and like so subtle, man. I especially love their like their clean um, like electric um, um, guitar tone. Well, it's not clean. It's like a little bit dirty, like a little bit dirty, but it's awesome. There's like something that's like really unique to them. I love this uh, tone. Great subtlety and uh, and dynamics on the on the drums. The bass is carrying a melody here as well as the vocals, so it's like a really cool counter melody situation. The, the electric guitars come in and they fill out the ambient space here. Like, great, uh, great production trick. A lot of subtle electronic stuff going on in the background of all this. Oh, that's interesting. So they kept the uh, the screaming vocal and the clean vocal like pan pan center on top of each other, and instead of putting one in left ear or right ear. Their electronic elements in their music are so cool, man. Ooh. I 
I love how you can just hear the uh, hear the reverb and uh, delay just like wash out like that entire solo. Great playing. Good, uh, good, good choice. Great phrasing, by the way. Like it's not just it wasn't just all shreddy. I liked how he how he changed the key uh, when he ran down the the scale in the last part of that solo. Great songwriting. Great songwriting. Oh yeah, saxophone boy. This is something I absolutely adore about their sound. The saxophonist is is amazing as well. Re re really fits in well with the band. Really gets the, the dynamics of the band and what each part needs. It was so dynamic with this solo. Again, this saxophonist can like really play fast and shred and be super technical, but he shows a lot of musical restraint for the, for the sake of the melody. He really gets on writing decisions. Ooh, the drumming. The drumming there is always good. Uh, they're so good at dynamics, man. Like building up this this part using like subtle technicality with the uh, and chugging with the electric guitar and bass and kick drum. Super good. And if you're curious to know like how they did that last part with the screaming that made it sound like a little bit different, uh, that's that's called saturation. So that they saturated it, distorted the vocals just, just a little bit. It's just either one of, one of the band members yelling or the, maybe their lead vocalist yelling. But that, that kind of distortion sound doesn't come from the voice. It comes from like uh, either from a pre-processor or, or post-processor that's used for like a little bit of distortion or saturation. So I, I said a lot of what I wanted to say during the song actually. Uh, so, I'll just touch on a, a, a little bit of their production tricks. So, uh, the band is all equal. That's a, that's the big thing about this. Everything has its place sonically, and also everything has its place dynamically, too. This band is incredibly good at using dynamics to build up their song, to break it down. It makes the music really, really emotional. I love their use of multiple... Uh, vocalists, they they have three vocalists: their drummer, their bassist, and their and their lead vocalist, who primarily does the screaming. And I love the way that they interchange and they use all three vocalists in tandem with each other. Uh, it just it makes for a really interesting or a more interesting experience, but also like it makes their their songwriting better because they can use each voice separately to help build these dynamic parts. Uh, I also really liked what they what they did with the uh, with the lead vocalist screaming uh, during some of the like verse sections. How they pulled away his voice, and you're almost hearing more of the reverb sound than the than his actual raw vocal. And and that's a, that that's a trick you can use to to make the uh, an instrument or the vocals seem farther away from you. Because that's kind of how reverb works. Like. Reverb is meant to uh, replicate how a room sounds, right? So if you're in a really, really big room, and if the vocalist is far away from you, then you would really only hear his reverb naturally. And that's kind of how how they make all this work work together. They play with the reverb, they play with delay, and that's also a way that they transition everything together. Very, very well done. Also. I am a huge fan of their synth work. They have so many amazing, subtle uh, synth pads going on in their music that sometimes it's like barely audible, but it's these little like ambient bits that really give River Nihil their sound. And it's 
honestly a big inspiration on me as as a musician, like listening to their music. Their soundscapes are what make them who they are, on top of like everything else, but that just helps them from a production and songwriting and arrangement standpoint, that helps like elevate and boost their music like up to that next level. So well done. Love this song, love this band. So if you are loving and enjoying my reaction videos, make sure to hit the like button, hit the comment button, and then right, and then hit the comment button and hit the subscribe button too. Uh, I do have a Patreon page linked in the description below. You can go there. I have some cool like uh, super sub perks if you are so interested. I am also on Fiverr. Uh, I do uh, a couple different things, but I mostly do uh, electric guitar work and I do uh, MIDI drum pro programming. So if you're interested in any of those, please please let me know. And I will have more gigs up later on for actual like audio engineering for uh, for uh, mixing. Uh, bands and metal projects so keep your eye out on that and of course uh, thank you for watching I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye